today you are welcome to join me in visiting the Confederation of Democratic Simulators. So I think it's time we go over. And we are going to go first to the museum's garden to see the International Women's Day exhibition. For those of you just arriving, this is the garden of the Museum of Contemporary Art. And we currently have an exhibition here for International Women's Day, which was on the 8th of March. There is a catalogue for this exhibition in the side at the main desk, so you can pick that up there. But I think it's quite um, self-explanatory as an exhibition. If you all follow me, we have an art walk which was created by Moon Adamant in the summer of 2022. So it's just over here, walk past the bunny. So welcome to the reception area, first off. There are lots of things to click on here, including Cedric, our historian. So if someone, with just one person would like to click on Cedric and he will give you the full history of the museum. There's the catalogue um, at the back on um, so a book and then in front of it we have the galleries of CDS. We currently have 16 art galleries in CDS covering on three of the regions and the landmark pin there will give you the landmarks for both the museum and the garden. So if you pick those up we also have the resources from the talk given by Lear Lobo and Drianne Chapuar on the 1st of March. There's a slide viewer and a note card with links in it as well that were taken from chat. Carrot cake and drinks are very important so you can grab some of those from the cart and buy. A little bit more history. This alcove area where the seating and carrot cake is used to be the reception desk but I felt when I was redesigning the decor of the museum uh, in February yes uh, that the desk was better off in the middle here. It's more natural to come in the front door and turn left and see the desk there and get all of the resources rather than possibly missing it in the alcove. And of course it also opens up the alcove for a mini exhibition. This main exhibition in this gallery, the ground floor gallery, is the community exhibition Artificial Intelligence and I. And some of the residents of the community um, used uh, in particular DALI 3 to create images for the exhibition. You can see from the images that some people do have concerns about the use of artificial intelligence while others are quite happy to embrace it. So there's a feeling of what does it mean for my identity, what does it mean for the future I think is the general overall feel. Of course a little bit of fun um, my real life husband, Anju, created a couple of the images. As you know, he is blind. So he was able to use Bing Create and uh, he created the, the cat is out of the bag image, <laughs> which is quite good. And uh, also the IQ one, which is a bit more ominous and the one of the shadow behind the person. So some of the images you can click on and get information. There are three of them here that have links. Jerry McNally in particular wrote two blog posts on about his images so you can check those out afterwards. I chose this exhibition because it is a very contemporary topic of course and even at VWBPE last week artificial intelligence was being discussed a lot. Um, as my husband's image shows, the cat is out of the bag and we will have to deal with it. Yes, Val, there will be a new exhibition here on the ground floor, probably in May. Uh, we haven't decided yet exactly what that will be. <laughs> uh, and probably also on the floors above, so it will be a busy time again at the end of April, replacing everything. Um, I'm not decided yet actually on that one, Val. Uh, whether to do a community exhibition again or whether to buy works from other places. The exhibition you're about to visit next on the floor above does contain works by people outside of CDS. 
Uh, some of them were donated to the museum in the past and a couple of others I bought completely new. So we're hoping though to have an exhibition, I should say this, in our public information office on Colonia Nova. That is my next project and that will be only CDS artists in that exhibition. So if you would like to go upstairs, I should point out, of course, we have a tour, we have two tour guides. We have Sabine, who is over by the lift on this floor, and Dietrich, who is at the lift on the floor above. So if somebody would like to click on Sabine, and she will give you some information as well. We use a, an avatar for the museum that keeps everything in one place. You may notice that the names start with the letters C, D and S course for CDS, so that's why I chose those names for the characters. <laughs> so I'm going to go up to the next floor if you want to follow me, if you're not there already. This exhibition is called Collective Thoughts on AI. And I basically am using artworks in our collection, pieces old and new. And it's, this is basically my thoughts uh, using that collection on artificial intelligence. So there's also an artwork here that you may want to click on. I go to it back over here and you can click on it and it changes the artwork. I think there are just a check. There are five images within this image. Deconstruction, it's called. And this is one of the new pieces for the collection. So if you want to look at it and take a photograph with your favourite image in that, that's quite a good thing to do. Trying to make some interactivity <laughs> into the exhibition. Steampunk brainstorm. <laughs> and I love them because they show the possibilities for movement within art. The things that we can do in Second Life, not just putting a picture on a on a prim artwork. Uh, art in the museum needs to be there to call it for debate and to challenge people. It's not the same as the art that you would have in your own home. Uh, it's important to challenge people's thoughts and perceptions. This piece uh, beside us is by the real life artist Adam Mash. And we also have Delia's sculptures up here. <laughs> I'm loving all of you in the sculpture. <laughs> It's also a good place to have a look around Neufarstadt. You can see the castle very obviously, of course, from here, and the clock tower, and our church. And if you look down over here and calm down,
But if you look over the edge, you can see the marked flaps. It really does show you where the museum is in the, in the heart of Neufreistadt. We have six regions here at CDS, four of which are full 30,000 prim regions, and two are homesteads. To me, it is a great creative space for a large variety of different kinds of exhibits and art artworks. So I have found it to be um, a highly creative working space. <laughs> 